Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Pickers. This is a continuation of the construction of our underground complex. Our underground complex has an underground house with a kitchen, a house in Sand Hill and a huge pool. Later we'll show you and tell you what we have inside. So what are we going to build today? This big hill is right next to the pool, so we got a great idea to make a slide into this pool. Since our complex is underground, our slide will be underground as well. In this hill we'll make a hole that will lead to our pool, it will be right underground. We of course have to drain some water, since our tunnel will pass at an inclined angle, this will be our slide, on which we'll sit down and slide down into our pool at full speed. In general, this idea is crazy, the plans are grandiose, so it's time to get started. As you can see, we started to make room for our descent that will cover everything with sand again, but we will already have a tunnel here. This is our house in Hill. This is a kind of headquarters or base which has an observation deck overlooking this hill. It is very cozy here and the main feature is the mirror wall, which visually expands the space by 2-3 times. Yes, look, how cool it is, there are four figures. <laughs> and from this house, through the hatchway, we can get to the very top of this hill in which we are. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's drizzling now, so it's not comfortable to stand here, but it's still cool. We had to drain as much water as possible in order to integrate this slide as convenient and practical as possible. If there was more water, the slides would all erode and this would be very disturbing. You see, if water level was high here, it's likely that it will flow here. Well, you don't think that our tunnel will be so big. All this will be covered with soil and it will be as deep as possible into the ground. Yes, we'll dig it further in order to enter the pool directly under the ground. The main thing is that there should be enough soil to cover this all again. And this is our underground house where there is everything for a full overnight stay. Soon we'll have a 24-hour challenge here to check how comfortable it is here. Most of all, I like the entrance to our kitchen. Where do you think the door to our kitchen is? Maybe behind this painting? Where? What do you think? There it is. Ta-da! And Ficus is vanished. Our small kitchen has a large worktop where we usually put a stove, microwave, kettle, but now we have removed everything from here because we don't have any security system here yet. Since we'll fill up this whole structure, we are sealing it with a film so that the sand doesn't fall on our heads. Guys, we have shared the responsibilities and I'm finishing the construction of the tunnel and Ficus is covering it with sand. I think with such a pace we'll finish everything by tomorrow and tomorrow we'll already test it. It's really scary. It's so slippery, also there is still no water at all. It's good that we took more old cloth than the last time we bought it for the pool and we can just spread it out because when we'll collect water our tunnel will also be filled. It will be somewhere up to this level. Imagine how cool it will be. There will be water in tunnel. I can wait any longer. We took such a white oil cloth which we'll put on the bottom and glide along our slide. Our slide is already slippery, but to make the sliding force stronger, we put a hose there, which will pour water from our pool. This is only a demo of our water slide, because not everything is ready yet. Our pool is only half filled, but we still want to try to see how it will be like. Well, everyone seems to be scared, so I will be the first one to test our slide. Let's do it! Woo! Now Dima will try. Are you ready? We left the hose with water on so that the pool was filled up and tomorrow we'll arrive and swim in a full pool and glide down our slide.
So we returned to our country house and see how much water accumulated during the night while we were not here. This is enough to test how our slide works with so much water. The water level is so high that it has already filled our tunnel by about half. It turns out that when we'll slide into the pool, there will already be water in the tunnel. Do you think it's good? Honestly, I don't know if it's good or not. If you watched our previous videos, after the rain, we saw the grass there, and you see it began to grow. It's cool. We can't wait to check our slide, but this week it was very cold and the pool water didn't warm up at all. Therefore, we are warming ourselves up. Let's go. It's really cold outside now. That's all right. You want to quickly check everything, so are you ready? No. Come on. Well, after sauna, the water seems not as cold as it really is. <laughs> How was it? Cool. I was afraid that the water would be cold, but it's not. <laughs> I'm ready to dive too. That was cool. The last time I tested this water slide when there was little water, now when I tried it when the more water, I can compare and say without any doubt that the last time when there was little water, it was much better, because this water in the tunnel gets in the way, it's just when you're sliding down and going straight, it slows you down, that is, there is no required speed. The last time I slide down quickly into the pool, therefore I think it would be better to drain some water again. We were good together I would say we had fun Nevertheless, the slide turned out to be cooler than we thought and we want you to rate it with your likes. Also, write what you want to see in the next video, the continuation of this project or you're waiting for a new episode of The Real House. Check out our previous videos that you have not seen yet and subscribe to our channel. It was interesting and focus with you. Bye! Blah, blah.